Hey guys, Kate of Essentials here. So the first DIY that I'll be making with the use of large chunky yarns will be a circular rug. I'll be making use of felt and a non-skid rug pad that I got from Walmart. And these two items are gonna be cut in a circular shape. And I'll be using a hula hoop that's 28 inches wide. That's my guide to draw out the circle. The non-skid pad was not large enough to cover up the circle, so I just cut a little piece to add it on there. I'll be using this spray adhesive to glue these two items together. And I've seen people use a hot glue gun to do this, but I don't want to burn myself, so I'm just going to go with the spray adhesive. I cut off all of the excess and then took a round plaque that's 7 inches wide to draw out a pattern that I want for my rug. The next set of circles will start away from the circle in the middle. The next set of circles will start from this point and I have four of them. The last set of circles will start from these points. To trace out the shapes that I just made, I'll be using this gray chunky yarn that I got from Walmart. I'll be filling up the spaces with this off-white chunky yarn that I also got from Walmart and it was on sale for This was really easy to make and it took me an hour and 30 minutes to complete the whole project and it's super thick and super fluffy and I love the pattern that's on it. The next yarn DIY will be used on stools. So what I wanted was a stool with three legs and I didn't find anything close to the design I wanted and then I remembered that I had this antique tripod lamp that I got a while ago and I have two of these. It is made out of wood and metal and it's super strong, so I sanded it down and then took it out and I spray painted it gold. To get the round shape that I want, I'm tracing out circles using a bin on a box and then I cut out the shapes. And now I'm going to be gluing all five of them together using school glue and this is going to give me a round hard board. Now I'm using this method because the circles are not too big and I'll be using foam and then chunky yarns to fill it up and make it cushiony. These are the type of chunky yarns that I'll be using for the stools. And the link for these yarns will be in the description box below. I'm going to start off by cutting three lengths off from the yarn. And then I'm going to be gluing the tips together because I'm going to be braiding it.
because of the way it was glued, the pattern for the braiding is going to be a little bit different. I'll be doing this slowly so you guys can see it better. Now you don't have to braid this if you know how to knit. You just use the same technique and then use your hands to serve as knitting pins. I glued these ends together when I was done. The length and quantity of the braid that you're going to make will depend on the size of the seating that you have. But there's going to be one that's going to be super long that can go around the board. This looks so cute the way it is. Now I'm gonna turn it to the back and then glue the tripod stand that's gonna serve as my stool in the middle. Like I said before, this is what I wanna use for my stool, but if you have a stool at home and you wanna change the sitting, this is an idea that you can use. Now I'll be taking one braid and crossing it over in the middle to cover this join here and gluing it at the bottom. I made five of these braids, so I'm going to be gluing all of them to the foam and then turning it to the back and gluing it behind. For the spaces that are showing, I'll be carving that up with little pieces of the chunky yarn. I covered the back and used really long nails to hold it down. It was looking so unique and different that I fell in love with it and I made a smaller one using a great color. Now I used this gold trim that I've had to cover up a part of the stool to minimize the industrial look. The next DIY that I'll be making using a chunky yarn is a tuffet. And for this project, I'll be using a thick round wooden board with an old throw pillow that I have. And this had a button which made a hole there, which is perfect because I will be making use of it. I'm going to be stapling the whole thing around the board, starting with the four corners. Before we go back into the project, I want you all to know that the reason why I haven't been available 100% is because for months now, I've been cooking up something just for you because you all have been asking me to do this for years. So finally, I am thrilled to announce that I'll be launching a brand new course for my DIY lovers out there aimed at empowering you with what you have and making a living off of it. I can't even begin to tell you how stoked I am to embark on this journey with all of you. I have poured my heart, soul, and a lot of glitter into this, and I know it's gonna be transformative for a lot of you. Now here's the cherry on top. For those of you who are super eager and can't wait like me, I've set up a special link where you can register to be the first to know when this course goes live. And trust me, being the first has its perks. The link is right below, so go on and click it. And if you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on this exciting opportunity. I love you all to the moon and back. You can cut foam to the size of the board and glue it down, but I wanted to do something different by turning an old throw pillow into something useful. I cut six of these and now I'm going to be stapling three in the middle and then three across. I cut shorter pieces of the gray and adding them to the design. I 
I'll be repeating the same thing for the remaining three sides. After that, right here in the middle, I'll be driving in screws. That's going to go right to the bottom where we have wood. So that's wood that we have at the bottom. So the screws are going to go down there to give it a deep hole and then making it wide enough so I can glue my gem in the middle. I'll be adding bling wrap to the design. And then this decorative legs will be at the bottom. They come in four, but I'll be using just three. I really love the look of my tuffet and I also love the way it goes with the other stools. I'm so happy with the fact that I was able to use large chunky yarns to make a circular rug. Cute and unique seating for stools and a tuffet. I have other decorating ideas using yarns that I wanted sharing with you guys but because I didn't want the video to be too long I'll be making them some other time now I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to like it and share it with your friends and families as well thank you so much for watching I have other videos linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button